Hey, what's up, amigos? This is Joe Perez, host of Vamos al Mambo. Whether your project is outside the lawn, inside your house, or you're going on vacation, I'm going to help you tackle those projects, plus give you tips while you're on vacation. This is part two of our installation of our security camera. Stay tuned. I'm going to take you through the steps and show you how I did it. Like I always say, Vamos al Mambo. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> The first thing we're going to be doing is choosing where to install the camera. Once you figure out your viewing angle, what is it that you want to view or record outside your home, then proceed to install. Go ahead and mark the three holes that are at the base of your camera. camera brings some hardware. I'm guessing these plastic plugs are about a quarter of an inch so I'm going to use a quarter of an inch uh, drill bit to drill my holes and then I'm going to insert these on the wall. That will allow me to secure the camera to the wall. Now before you go ahead and start drilling your soffit, okay? Just verify that you're not gonna hit a two by four. When you look at your soffit inside, you can't see what's behind or on top uh, of that soffit. So just get yourself a very small screwdriver, thin, poke it through those holes where you want to go ahead and run that wire and ensure that there's no obstruction. Once you have your hole in the soffit, go ahead and start feeding the wire through into the attic. At this time, you're going to put a lot of wire in there. I would say a good 15 feet, okay? That way, you can go inside the attic and you can retrieve that wire with either a fiber rod with a hook, or you can even go ahead and take a piece of a hanger, the hook, Tape it to the end of a pole or to the end of your broomstick. That way you can reach and pull that wire rather than going into all the way into that soffit area, which is the angle is very, very low and is very uncomfortable. Just use your imagination, pull that wire. It'll make your life a lot easier. Proceed to route the wire all the way to the location that you have your POE system. Now that I just finished running my wire, it is time to terminate the wire on both ends. I am going to strip my wire and put an RJ45 on each end. If you do not want to mess with this or you are unfamiliar or do not want to terminate, just go ahead and measure the distance between your PoE switch and the camera that you're going to install and just buy a pre-terminated wire.
Now, if you are going to terminate the wire, okay, you're gonna need either to buy 500 feet or 1,000 feet of Cat5e. You're gonna need some Cat5 uh, connectors, RJ45s. Down below, I will have the links of all these items that you're gonna need to install this system. All you gotta do is just click on it and it will route you directly to Amazon page, okay? Not a sponsor, just a way that I buy and use the products. Once you terminated your wires on both ends, proceed to plug those in. On the camera side, the RJ45 port, and then come into your PoE system and plug in your wire. Once you plug in your wire and you see just above the number of the port a green light and it's flickering, that means you've done a great termination. That means that there is a transmit receive data over that wire onto your camera. Good job. Okay. So I just completed the termination of both ends and also the installation of the camera, as you can see in previous clips, okay? This right here is my test uh, camera. So basically it's a very short wire, this yellow one right there inside the garage, okay? That's my test run. Um, this second wire right here goes to above the garage uh, to point at the entrance and this is the one that I just installed okay always mark your cables so you know uh, which cables are uh, if you have any issues so this is a the POE switch let me see if I can get okay there we go this cable right here see uplink this is the home run that we did in part one so basically, you're gonna plug it into the uplink. This is going to the right internet to this switch, okay? And these are your ports for your camera. So I can have up to eight uh, cameras in this uh, switch. All right, guys, so hopefully you liked the video, you learned something, and hopefully I can give you uh, some pointers there uh, how to install your own security camera. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that link, and also hit that bell so you will be notified when future uh, videos are posted. Any comments, uh, any questions you have, just please uh, leave them down below, and I will answer uh, you and try to help you out. Thank you so much. Hope you liked the video. Until the next one.